friends welcome to testing shala youtube channel in this video i am going to explain you in detail what are the different test cases which we can write for a, any bank application i am going to provide you detailed video on how to write different kinds of test cases for bank application before that if you are not subscribed to our testing shala youtube channel then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos will be in your inbox as and when we publish our new videos let us move on and understand the different types of test cases which we can write for bank application so let us understand how the bank application would look like and what all the test cases we should write for bank application at least so what are the things which i'm going to cover as part of uh, this video is so basically so i'll be covering a basic bank functionality in that how the admin functionality for a bank will be getting created and what all the functionality we should test for admin functionality and what are the way we can create a new branch altogether in a bank and what are the things we should test as part of branch creation also i'm going to talk about it and the third is opening a new account so i will be opening a new account what are the things you should test it as part of new bank account that is also i'm going to talk about the fourth one is i'm also going to talk about money transfer especially online these days all the money is getting transferred online but what are the test cases very much required to perform money transfer online so the four things which i am going to cover in this video so let us move on for admin functionality so admin functionality so basically it is also kind of an another user for a bank but he is having extra privilege where he can access every feature in the bank so that is called as a admin so here also we will be testing admin login functionality with valid and invalid users all the testing techniques will be adopting for this admin login functionality and you will be testing all the admin login related test cases and also once he logs in you should also be validating all the functionality which is required as an admin role is available for him or not in the dashboard or a home page that is also we will be required to validate Uh, just to ensure that he is having all the features which is available for him. The third is he is also and because an answer is uh, and he, he will also be provided with change password fun functionality where he should be able to change the password and in order to change the password what is the current password what is the new password all combinations of test cases will be executed for him just to ensure that. He is able to do chain password without any challenges, and all the functionality should work as expected. Also, to have logout successfully. Once he performs all the operations in the home page, and all the things he completes, then he is also because of the user, he should have a capability of logging out from the system. When so, he should be taken to the login page. That is the overall admin functionality. and the test cases which we should write the second type of uh, functionality is branch creation or operation of a new branch in a web application or mobile application so what are the features which would be available for branch creation or branch functionality is we should be able to create a new branch with valid and invalid data to give a right uh, branch name invalid branch name all those things and the test cases should be covering various testing techniques like boundary conditions all positive and negative is related to the branch name we should be able to test in all combinations here then also we should take a test for the duplication of the branch let's say if you try to create the same branch one more time whether it is really possible to create it or not basically you should not get it created that also will be validated then the third would be where existing branch is already there and we are trying to go and update the data for the existing branch then uh, we should be able to you know talk about anything branch details it can be branch name branch address uh, everything uh, if, if you need to update you can update uh, by providing all the valid information and you should not be able to update if you are providing invalid data able to delete uh, branch as well that is only rare case 
only when it is meeting all the dependencies parameters. That's why we call it with and without dependencies. Transition will only happen when all the relevant dependencies are taken away. Then only you can delete a branch, otherwise you cannot delete a branch. And also you should have an option to search for a branch. Let's say uh, SBI is having hundreds of branches in India, like not just hundred, thousands of branches in India. That means there is a functionality which should be available for a person who logs into the system where you can uh, search for a branch option. And the third one is we are looking at is how can we open a new bank account? So new bank, in order to open a new bank account, what are the things you should input and what are the validation you should perform? I'm going to talk about here. So basically, whenever you wanted to create a bank account, you should validate for a name, username, where we are trying to create a bank account. And also we'll be inputting a date of birth uh, for that person who is planning to open an account. So basically name and date of birth, you should be doing all validations. I'm not going to talk about in detail what kind of names you are going to test it, date of birth, which is a date field, what you are going to test, where you will be testing all combinations of uh, test data, uh, test data values for date of birth, invalid, valid, everything, combinations will be testing it in the same fashion. Names also will be testing with the different combinations based on the uh, bank's uh, naming convention. So the names can be having so many characters, all those things like conditions, you should be able to test it based on the requirement of that given bank. And photo, photo is also mandatory for opening a bank account. If you are not able to provide a photo, then you should not be able to create a bank account then address proof this is also very important address proof you should have it then if he is not having it he cannot create a bank account so all those validations we should be able to test it and identity proof as well if these are the must fields and these are the must things you should enter in order to open a bank account let's say if you uh, put an invalid address proof or invalid identity proof then you should throw up an appropriate invalid error messages and also for any given bank account, if there is a requirement of introducer to open a new account, then that is also become a mandatory field and you will also be tested that field for uh, mandatory. Then we have to provide a PAN card number. Opening a bank account, PAN, com PAN number is a must, right? Uh, some banks, they may ask PAN number is a must or some banks may not say PAN number is a must, but at the end of the day, based on the bank so this pan card should be make it a mandatory or optional you should be validating based on the functional requirement and minimum deposit which is going to keep it uh, for opening this new bank account also should be able sometime uh, you should be able to open a zero balance account then you need not uh, pay any money to open an account so that time the minimum deposit should be zero right all those validations you should be able to perform then uh, what are the facility this person is going to uh, taking from the bank either he required a checkbook atm card or on online banking then we should also validate various other prerequisites let's say checkbook if he is required card so uh, is there any requirement is there what is the basic requirement based on your requirement we should also validate all those functionality as part of checkbook atm card or online banking so these are the some of the things you should validate as part of a new bank opening and also the last one would be customer signature customer signature is a very must uh, if your application doesn't have a customer signature then you cannot open an account that means these are the things whatever i listed your name date of birth photo address proof identity proof introducers pan card minimum deposit facility required customer signature these are the must things for opening a bank account and you should validate all these fields with the valid and invalid valid and invalid data just to ensure that everything is proper and you should also be adopting all the testing techniques to validate each and every field which is adhering to the all the testing techniques so then let us move on to the fourth is functionality which we are going to discuss is bank transfer functionality. So bank transfer functionality where 
here we are going to talk about let's say i'm going to log in through a web which is an online bank transfer using a web so when i'm trying to open a bank uh, url when i'm trying to open a, let's say i'm opening sbi when i'm trying to open an sbi then it should be having https url that is a very mandatory because all the financial transactions should go through the secure protocol that means you should validate whether url which we are trying to enter for sbi should be an https and we should also provide authenticity you should also validate when i say https and uh, the url we should also check for genuinity of that web uh, site so that uh, is there any things which, which is uh, i think mean, the, the second thing is should, once we open the url then you should have username and password and you should be able to validate all the test cases related to username password and you should be entering your valid username invalid username valid password all combinations of test cases will be validating here and also once you user provides all the required information then click on login then you should get an sms also as a second type of authentication just to ensure that he is the right person is logging to the bank application then once he is providing the sms uh, otp then he should be taken to the dashboard dashboard might have different things let's say you may have bank uh, transaction you can see you can transfer the funds or you can uh, update your his contact details there are various features will be there in the bank but we are more concentrating on bank transfer functionality for for this sake now we are directly going to the uh, bank transfer feature where he is going to click on bank transfer uh, link then he should be taken to the uh, whether he is capable or he is eligible for doing a transfer of funds especially during 9 am to 5 am because uh, every banks in india Uh, there is a uh, standard RBI guidelines are there, and it has to meet those RBI guidelines to transfer the funds. That means uh, anything can be operated the transferring of funds when the banks are open, which is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And also, you should be able to add a new beneficiary. Let's say I opened a bank account, then if I would like to transfer money to the another person. then i should add that person as a beneficiary into my account that means you should validate all combinations of things to add it as add him as a beneficiary uh, and during adding a beneficiary normally in india there are two types of uh, transfers you can make one is net transfer another one is rtgs net transfer which is very immediate rtgs transfer takes 24 hours and verifying all the details like beneficiary name irfc code bank name fund amount purpose of transfer everything you should be able to validate with the different combinations of test data we will be adopting to validate this then uh, once he puts in all the information then he click on it clicks on the transfer then it it should uh, call out second step authentication which is an sms or otp should Uh, send out to the person who is transferring the amount once he ends enter the sms otp then he should be able to do the transfer and uh, so transfer can happen within the same bank or it can happen from the different bank within the city or it can happen outside the city as well so all those validation also you should be able to perform just to ensure that all our functional test cases are really passing then during transfer as we said for if somebody is trying to do it for 9 to 5 then he should be able to do all the transfer because which are within the business hours and here we should also test for uh, transfer during offline which is let's say you are transferring at 8:30 or we are transferring at 5:30 pm in the evening so all these combinations of test cases also should be validated just to ensure that this functionality is really working fine or not and also as i said in and of business hours you should be able to try it and also once i send the money to the another person as a beneficiary then you should also get a message saying that money has been credited to his account 
and uh, in your account person who sent the money for him debited should happen which is uh, money uh, so you should also get a message and uh, a person receiving the money also should get a message as part of an sms or sometime emails as well and also it should call that out in that message the amount uh, which is coming from and all the details regarding from bank who, from which account money is getting transferred everything should come in that message these are the, some of the very high level uh, test cases we should ensure that we should test so these are the some of the very high level test cases which i talked about maybe in future videos i'll be discussing in detail the test cases or in detail functional which i'm going to call out in uh, in your future videos if you really would like to have a detailed test cases comment me in my inbox so we'll try to see if we can uh, bring those kind of videos also in our next videos if you really enjoyed watching this video and this video is very useful for you then please click on like button if you have visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos will be in your inbox as and when we publish our new videos we'll catch you up in the next video until then bye for now take care